This is Martin Aranovich from BeadHuddle.com and in this uh, short video I want to show you a quick and free way to resize your images for uploading uh, to BeadHuddle.com. So here I've got a picture that a member, one of our members sent in and it's a, a very large um, image which won't upload because it's too, uh, it's too big. You can see here it's 1600 pixels by 925. Um, in order to be able to upload the images uh, to beadhuddle.com, you need to make your images um, uh, smaller. You don't want to cut any of the image off, but you need to make them smaller. Um, in this case, uh, a good size, a good recommended size is to make the pixels 800 wide, uh, 800 to 900 wide, uh, so about half the size of this image. So what, here's what we're going to do. There is a free website um, on the internet. If you go to here, www.drpic.com, so drpic.com, um, this is a free online resource that allows you to resize your images um, for uploading to sites like beadhuddle.com. So let's just take you through an example here so you can see um, the whole process and then you'll be able to take your large images, resize them and up, upload them to beadhuddle.com to share with the other members. So we start by uploading a picture from your computer or camera. Well, in this case, we're going to upload a picture from our computer. So we click here. It launches the, the load box. Uh, so we have to browse, we have to find where the picture is located in the hard drive. And I've placed the picture here. This is the picture here. You can see the size 1600 by 925. That's very large. So select open, click on load picture. Now the software will load the picture into the browser. So we just give it a, a couple of seconds while it does that. And here we have it. There's the picture, it's been uploaded, and all we want to do now is resize it to a decent size. So, we click on the resize button here. It says here the resize tool allows you to change the dimensions of your picture. So we click on the resize. I'm not going to go through all of the other things, but you can crop your picture, rotate it, sharpen. So there's a whole lot of things you can do to your picture uh, in this site. This is very good. We're going to simply resize it. and here we're going to choose pixels and make it 800 pixels wide. Now because I've got lock aspect ratio ticked it means that it doesn't matter how high it is it will reduce in size proportionately. So we click on the apply button and you can see behind this box the picture has now been resized. It's still a very decent size. You can still see all the detail of the image, but it's now a much uh, uh, better size for uploading and the computer and beadhuddle.com should allow you to upload an image this size uh, with no problem at all. Now that we've got the image to the size we want to, we want to save this back to disk. So when you go choose format, choose the JPEG format, the JPG, and where it says quality, let's go for the highest quality. So you can see it gives you a, um, a view here what they look like. Let's choose 100% quality. 145 is still a very good size. So this is why I'm saying you don't need to uh, crop the picture. All you need to do is resize it. Keep it at the highest quality. It's a good size. It should upload no worries to beadhuddle.com. We then click on back to image and we click on save to disk. And now it's going to give you a name. Uh, you choose save file, click OK button and here we want to save it to, let me just go back to the desktop where I've got the original. And in this box, if you get this box, here's what you do, choose all files. Here is the original picture. We're going to now save the new picture and what you need to do is at the end of whatever the name is, you can change the name. Um, I'm just going to leave it the same here, but you can change it to anything you want. At the end of the name, you add .jpg. Okay, so you add the extension .jpg, jpg, click save. Now that we have saved, we should be able to go into 
the folder here. Here is the resize picture and this one is now 800 uh, pixels wide. So if we click on this picture, there is the picture resized and totally ready for upload and you should have no problems at all uploading this picture to beadhuddle.com. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short video tutorial and we look forward to seeing many, many of your wonderful pictures uploaded uh, on beadhuddle.com.